Hi everyone, I have three things to show you in this video. So please stay tuned, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to my channel. So let me start with the things number one. It's an unboxing from the washi tape shop. I got a few very nice washes. Uh, this time some of them are still not available or out of stock uh, temporarily on the uh, website of the washi tape shop. So I didn't show you them, but the rest is available. And the others which are not available uh, are at this moment, I'll show you in my next video. For now, uh, a little bit of unboxing happiness. Uh, this is the tape which is called pet tape. Uh, it's a washi tape, but it's transparent. I'm learning to use them because um, they are quite, uh, no, not quite. They are more difficult to take pictures with because, uh, well, uh, they are reflecting the light. Otherwise, they are very nice. Uh, those, uh, the rest of the tapes I have, uh, those are the tapes which are actually uh, uh, traditional washi tapes. And I'm showing you here um, the names of them. And they do come in the nice wrapping paper with the sticker on top of it. But I remove this sticker with the name and I just put it on the top of the washi tape. So like that, I have it for a future reference. And look at that, guys. This uh, came, uh, this set uh, came with the two different tapes. Well, they are similar, black and uh, white with golden, um, golden touches. So it's really nice. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with those two tapes, but I absolutely love them. And uh, here is another one. So for uh, all of you who like small elements, because of course the washi tapes are not very, very big, but at the same time, these ones are also uh, quite white. Uh, but for those of you who like small elements, uh, those are a really nice um, thing to purchase. And uh, there is a set for all the cat lovers, which I'm gonna show you right now. It consists of four different uh, sets of uh, washi tape, and they have also different um, sets with cats in the shop. Some of the washes are pre-cut, and the only thing I have, um, like maybe um, complain, <laughs> is that some of the tapes are not pre-cut, and since I'm wearing glasses and I don't see very well the things which are very close to me, it's sometimes very hard to uh, actually, um, you know, um, divide the tape and to uh, get it to the sticky side. <laughs> so I use for that uh, the tool picker, tool picker, I think it's called, from uh, Tim Holtz. You're gonna see it later in the um, uh, in the video because that's the best way for me to actually, you know, if I cut some of the elements to uh, later uh, divide them. Uh, so you've seen all the tapes I could show you. Here is my new uh, tiny art journal, which was not really an art journal, which was kind of a notebook, but I decided to use it for an art journal purposes. And the first page, uh, maybe you've seen it already, it's also a page which I made with the washi tape from the washi tape shop. And for this one, I decided to use actually the uh, pet tape. Why not? I'm challenging myself. And uh, for some time I was struggling with which uh, thing to uh, use which thing to cut uh, out from the tape, because that's the thing, uh, you know, if they are not pre-cut, you have to cut them and then, you know, you have to uh, just divide them. And as you've seen, I had this pick, uh, picking tool, uh, kind of like a uh, needle. And with that, uh, and with <laughs> sunlight, uh, sunlight, I am managing to, to open them quite well. Uh, otherwise, with the uh, artificial light, I am getting a little bit uh, confused, I have to say, and I'm spending some time to actually, you know, divide the tapes. But I still, uh, it's worth it, you know, if you find something which uh, pleases you, um, it's uh, worth it to spend like a, a few good seconds trying to uh, get to the, uh, to the sticky side. Uh, sorry for my hair here, but uh, I was trying to not to make a mess with the page. 
and I had to do uh, I had to look what's happening on the other side of the glass because as you've seen I use the glass to make um, to kind of frame these uh, two love birds in the uh, circle um, to be honest at the end when this uh, page is finished I'm not really sure they are love birds because uh, well you're gonna see it with the sentiment I added uh, I think they are just colleagues which uh, <laughs> <laughs> are having a problem maybe I don't know but you're gonna see when I add this uh, sentiment at the end uh, why I'm saying what I'm saying and I'm using um, fine liners and uh, brush this one is actually a brush from Ohuhu and uh, just to add a little bit of circles to, to, to add a little bit of interest because you know it's very easy to just take a piece of uh, washi tape and just stick it to the paper but uh, it's uh, much nicer if you add a little bit of your own elements to it and I decided to steal a little bit of a branch uh, from the same set from the same washi tape but on this branch there was another bird who was sitting there and I just cut out the bird and just leave the branch and add it to this and I think it looks so much nicer now um, and I am adding my very sassy sentiments and a little bit of tacky glue and here we go dude chill so I mean you know they are probably just colleagues <laughs> so this was super easy and here we go we can go to the second page uh, the second page uh, I was actually surprised with my choice of washes because and also you know me I am not that much into like you know very nice romantic uh, flowers and I think this tape is uh, all about these really, really nice romantic flowers are uh, kind of vintage looking. So not that much my cup of uh, tea, but here we go. I just made a page with it and I think I actually prefer the second one to the first one. Please let me know in the comments which one is your uh, favorite, if any, because of course you may not like uh, either of them. And so I... Uh, put uh, together a few different flowers from the tape and now I'm using Walnut State Distress Oxide and my uh, stamp branch out to add a little bit of accents. I was looking for a kind of like a dark green, well dark green, kind of like a grey green almost. You could see there, there are some uh, leaves on uh, the tape. But I didn't have this one, so uh, I could see some uh, also brown accents uh, on the washi and I decided for that to use the, uh, this particular walnut um, distress because uh, I thought it's, uh, it's the color is the most similar to the one uh, which is used on the tape. Just wanted to add a little bit of different thing, different um, something different on the page, so it doesn't just look that I just took a piece of washi and just place it on the um, on the paper. And when I did all the stamping, and as you can see, I am not using acrylic block. I didn't really need very very crispy uh, image. And, uh, you know, when the stamps, uh, when you use my stamps for a few times, uh, you know, you don't necessarily need the acrylic block. They are stamping quite well. I wasn't sure what to use as a focal point, And then I decided that uh, in my books with uh, sentiments, I have some sentiments which are quite long. So I said to myself, the page is already very busy. There is a lot of beautiful flowers and uh, uh, leaves. So I think the best thing would be to just add to the page a simple sentiment and just leave it like that. And so that's it. The page number two is done. Uh, that was very, very easy. And I actually love those two pages. Uh, I love those three pages in this book. And uh, this is a very big surprise for me because they are not very grungy. They are not very me, I would say. And yet uh, they are very, very nice. Oh, I forgot. I actually used my um, uh, watercolors and add a little bit of uh, black splatter to, uh, as you may know already, <laughs> make the uh, coherence between the uh, black sentiment and, uh, and the page, because on the page there was nothing black, but I wanted the splatter to be very, very um, discreet. I think yes so those are the two pages um, you have a discount code in the description box below for the washi tape shop uh, so use it uh, if you're planning to buy something 
of course I'm gonna give you links to all the products and I'll be very happy if you visit my shop thank you so much for subscribing watching and for being here with me I'm sending you big hugs and see you in my next video bye bye